we love unicorns and welcome back to my channel and this video that is a bit different for me I do try to do some more videos on my channel now where I just talk about makeup and like how I feel about different trends or brands or products or whatever and I thought I'd do a video where I talk a bit about brands that excite me versus brands that don't excite me anymore because I had some really like favorite brands before that I'm not really finding myself drawn to anymore and I thought I'd do a video where I talk a bit about that and also some brands that right now um, I want to buy everything they release. So I thought that it could be a fun video for me to talk about what brands I prefer right now. Of course there's a lot of more brands than the ones that I'm going to mention but these are just three brands that right now I just amazing to me and I've just really opened my eyes to them and everything I've tried from them have been amazing and vice versa three brands that I used to buy a lot of things from I was really excited about new releases and lately I haven't really been getting anything or if I have like really few things so I thought I'd talk about that as well but let's start with a brand that I am super excited about and I think that there is nobody that's going to be surprised when I say Julia's Place. Can they make nothing wrong? I mean, honestly, everything I bought from Juvia's Place has been amazing. I bought, the first palette I bought was the Masquerade palette, and I will leave some videos about Juvia's Place up here so you can see my reviews uh, on the brand. And I just love that palette so much that I immediately jumped on the pre sale when the uh, Saharan palette was released. And I love that palette as well, so I immediately bought both of the blush palettes when they were released and now I did actually order uh, the pre-order from the night and day palette, day and night palette, what is it called? The new one, the one that's actually kind of big with lots of colors, oh I'm dying, I'm I want to buy everything the brand releases, I feel like they can do nothing wrong, I bet they can and I bet they will, I bet they will release something in the future as well, I'm like eh, I don't know, but right now they are on the color train, they are not getting off the color train, and I'm so excited. A brand that I used to buy a lot of things from, I did hauls on my channel, I was so excited about the new releases, and I'm not really buying anything from them for a really long time, and that is Makeup Revolution. I think that they are turning into a bit of a snooze pill. A lot of brands are starting out being like, copycat brands. I mean, they're st they started out being brands that tried to make something that was already existing, but cheaper. I mean, makeup started out like that, and it's fine, I don't care, but once you reach a certain kind of level, this is how I feel. I feel like you should at least try and do something on your own, and I don't feel like Makeup Revolution is even trying. They are still on the copycat thing, and it's like, but don't you want to make something for your own, for yourself, something that's like truly yours and I don't know, I just got bored, I'd, I'd, I'd just rather buy the real thing and to be honest they are making some really nice cheek products, uh, I love their blushes and their bronzers are amazing, their eyeshadows, there are so many good eyeshadows out there and I don't really like their formula I have to be honest. Another brand that I'm super excited about is Kat Von D. Everything I bought from Kat Von D has been amazing. Eyeliners, concealers, uh, eyeshadow palettes, uh, everything I've gotten has been so good. The liquid lipsticks are great. I'm just really intrigued by the brand. I'm really intrigued by the whole theme of the brand and I think the color the color selections by Kat is amazing. She's spot on. She's like, sometimes she's pastel and cute, sometimes she's dark and sultry, sometimes she's bright and fun, and I just really love it. And I love the aesthetics of the, the face products as well, with the really polished look. I'm really into the brand. I've loved everything I've tried from them, so I can't wait to buy more. Actually, Kat Von D is not that easy to get a hold of in my country because it's only sold at Sephora and Sephora in Sweden does not have a web shop and Sephora in the US does not ship to Sweden, so it's kind of a status quo. I mean, can't get it in Sweden, can't get it anywhere else. 
There is, of course, Sephora's in major cities in Sweden. Major cities in Sweden. Is there any major cities in Sweden? Mm, I doubt it. But I don't really visit them that often, so it's kind of hard for me to get a hold of Catherine D. But I do really love the brand and everything she releases that I can get my hands on. Loving. The next brand that I'm just not that excited about right now is Morphe. I don't dislike Morphe. I don't dislike discount codes or affiliate codes or anything like that. I just feel like Morphe is like clinging on to the major success that they had with the 350. So they're trying to recreate that bus with similar products. And how many neutral big palettes can you release? I mean, just let it go. You, it, it had its moment. <laughs> you, you released the 35.0, it was a hit. It was a major hit. It put Morphe on the map. Everybody was loving it. People were going bananas. I have the 35.0 and I think it's really good. But then you released it in matte and shimmer. Like an all matte and all shimmer. And already there I was like, that's stupid. And then you came with the the one that was similar but a bit more plummy but but they were all the same tones and now you have the one that's the R one, 35R and then the, the, the 25 palettes, the square ones that all look the same I mean, let it go neutral palettes is a thing for the past like, look forward to what should be the next big thing because it's not gonna be the 35O <laughs> we already had that and Getting on the liquid lipstick train, like, years after it boomed, also... I don't know. I mean, the Jaclyn Hill palette is gonna be a, a, a hit, because it's Jaclyn Hill. I'm gonna buy it. I'm gonna try to buy it, because I love Jaclyn, but... I'm really hoping that they are trying to just step out of that box and just be like, Okay, so we did that. Let's try something new. I would love to see more of those smaller palettes from Morphe, because those were great. I love those. Do more of those. Because Morphe, you're kind of, kind of boring me right now. The last brand that I'm really excited about is actually Shuei. And just recently I didn't own anything from Shuei. And now I have tried five products from Shuei. A liquid lipstick uh, that's matte, one that's metallic, an eyeshadow palette, a highlighter and a gloss. Well, a lip topper. And I love all five of them. I think they're all amazing. And I'm just like, wow. How did I sleep on this brand? The brand is amazing. I want to try everything from them. Do you ever get that feeling when you like discover a brand? You pick a couple of things, you love everything, and you're like, I want to get it all. That's how I feel about UA right now. I just, I just want to try more things. I'm dying to see what their autumn collection is going to be all about. I'm just super excited. If you want to see a video about this summer collection from UA, I will leave it up here so you can have a peek. But, spoiler alert. I really loved it. Last brand on my list of brands that are kind of a snooze pill right now, and I feel really bad for saying it, but am I the only one feeling like Makeup Geek is a bit off lately? I am a die-hard fan for Marlena and Makeup Geek. Their eyeshadows, their pigments, they're to die for. But lately I've been like... They haven't really been releasing any hits. Nothing that they have been releasing has been, like, hyped. Um, I don't really know why. I think they missed the mark a bit with the lip product. I did try a couple on my channel. Uh, I did actually end up liking the formula, but the colors... I mean, I do understand that you're trying to cater to everyone and bring out a big variation. But people love their nudes, and I think it was a big miss that she didn't come out with more nudes because people would have loved that. And I don't know, also that she's more of a mid, mid-range mid brand right now, that she's not as seen as inexpensive as she was before. I think it's also throwing people off. I don't mind paying a bit extra if it's a good product because, I mean, the highlighters are amazing. They are so good, I love them. I have no idea why they have been receiving any negativity at all because they're so good. But nothing has been hyping really and I think that what they need is something to be a big hit. And the only reason why I'm putting it on the list of brands that are kind of a snooze pill for me is that the new palette they're releasing, that neutral nudes whatever, 
it is just so boring. It is like paper. It is like rocks. It is like dirt. It's like nothing. I nothing excites me about that palette. It is literally nine shades of beige. Literally nine shades of beige. And not even all of the shades are new. And I'm like, the last thing we need is another nude eyeshadow palette. It's I mean it's probably gonna be amazing. People are probably gonna love it. But people already have it and I don't think that that's what the brand needed right now. I think they needed something something more. That's this is my opinion. Um, I will still buy from Makeup Geek, but I'm just not as into it as I used to be, just because I think they've been missing the mark with a couple of releases lately. So do let me know about your opinions. I would love to hear what brands excite you or what brands you think are not that hot anymore. Do you agree with me with my opinions or do you have some totally different opinions about the brands that I mentioned? I would love to know. Just let me know down below. You know, I read and answer all the comments, although I have stopped answering comments that ask for questions where the answer is actually in the video or in the description box, because I just, I just can't with that. Just look at the video, read the description box, still can't find the answer. You ask me and I will answer, but I'm sorry, you're gonna... <laughs> You're gonna have to at least try. And that was it. Don't forget to subscribe. The button is down below. I would love to have you. I do upload videos every week. And yeah, I think that was it. I will see you in my next video. Bye!